Good Wednesday, everyone. Our weather map for today shows lots of showers and thunderstorms across the country for our Wednesday, the day before our fourth. And unfortunately for travelers, um, things aren't looking so good from about the lower Ohio River Valley right on into the uh, the Plains states. All the areas you see shaded in yellow are severe weather threats. The red shaded regions are flash flood threats. So anywhere from western Kentucky, um, stretching all the way back to eastern Colorado and eastern Wyoming. I mean, all those folks are going to be weather aware today due to a frontal system that's coming through the middle of the country. That frontal system is going to impact our weather as well. And will bring us some some chances for showers and thunderstorms, and then it'll actually bring us a chance for some nice weather once again. I have the weather map kind of oriented a little upward because I wanted to be sure to include a hurricane barrel, which is now at the bottom of our weather map. Will be impacting Jamaica today. Certainly keep those folks um, close to your hearts and in your thoughts and prayers because they are in for a rough day today um, from a very powerful hurricane, unseasonably powerful for this time of the year. And uh, that storm will continue tracking westward in the Gulf, is expected to impact the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, which is that peninsula you see jutting out up toward the southern Gulf there, part, portion of Mexico. It will then get into the southwest Gulf of Mexico and looks to make landfall either in northern Mexico or around the Brownsville, Texas, southern, southern Texas area. Um, possibly. So uh, we'll uh, we'll track that storm and we'll see how that goes. Right now, not looking for any impacts to our area. Our five-day forecast brought to us by Clearview Closet and Blind. Just a 20% chance for an isolated shower storm. I think most people have taken that out of their forecast for today, but it's too much heat and humidity and we're on this plateau. Can't roll out an isolated shower storm. Highs near 90. Um, for 4th of July, 50% chance for a scattered shower or thunderstorm. Highs in the upper 80s. And then for Friday, a 70% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. So that makes those likely for Friday. Hopefully those of you who, are in, who have been wanting some rain will get some rain from that. And that's from that frontal system finally pushing through that's coming through the middle of the country today. Fronts move slow this time of the year, so it's going to take it a while to get here. Highs are only in the mid-80s on Friday due to cloud cover and increased rain chances. And then right now I've got the weekend being dry, partly cloudy. Um, highs in the mid 80s on Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday. Um, any storm that forms, um, if one were to form today and then for sure tomorrow or Friday, they can always pack a punch this time of the year. Straight line winds are the main threat. And Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic. And um, straight line winds are always the main threat with storms this time of the year. And then there's always a lower risk for large hail. And then there's always a risk for flooding. I know we've been dry. And some of you could use the rain, but unfortunately, sometimes this time of the year, an inch of rain comes in 10 minutes. So that can lead to some flash flooding. It subsides quickly, but it's dangerous while it occurs. So just be aware of that. If you have outdoor plans this holiday weekend, just make sure you have access to shelter. I wouldn't cancel plans because of increased rain chances on Friday even, um, because it's scattered. It's scattered showers and thunderstorms. So just have access to shelter and, uh, and make sure you can get there quickly, just in case a storm blows up where you're having your outdoor plans. On this day in 1995, a man is killed by a lightning strike while working on a barn roof at Rushing Springs. That's in Overton County. And another man's injured by the lightning strike while sitting on his front porch in Joelton. So always make sure you get indoors when you hear thunder roar. 1997, a swath of hail from marble to dime, dime size strikes between the towns of Sandy Springs and Ridgetop. This is in Robertson, over toward Robertson County. The hailstorm damages 100 acres of tobacco. As damage estimated by the Robertson County Department of Agriculture at four hundred and forty thousand dollars. You know, this was that that was marble to dime sized tail. That's not even severe thunderstorm criteria. But don't tell that to the tobacco. 1987, lightning struck and killed three men playing golf on a course near Kingsport, Tennessee. The three men had sought shelter from the rain under a tall tree on a small hill. So again, when you hear thunder roar, go indoors. You folks have a wonderful Wednesday and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.